Another important and useful tool in Marvelous Designer is 3D Avatar tool. It means you can create your avatar, you can any object, and based on object, you can create your pattern. It does not need to, you're going to 2D pattern and knowing, for example, pattern designing. So we are going here and delete all of this patterns and as you can see we have the uh, naked avatar here so go in here and i want to explain a line 3d line on avatar if you select it and as you can see you can directly create a line on an avatar body and the software convert it automatically in a 2d it's very easy you can click holding control to <clears throat> make it a curve going here is the letter if you want to <clears throat> go a straight line you can hold and shift and then as you can see we have a lot of guideline and you can come here as you can see automatically curve it for you you're going here and you can um, choose any point that you want and back to the first it's very important you have to close it and after that, <clears throat> you need to go to the edit tool, select somewhere to deselect all. And after that, you can go and edit it if you want. Hold and shift. You can right click, you can add a curve point here, for example, or you can right click at a point, anything that you want. You can delete it if you want, right click at a curve point and make it a curve. <clears throat> As you can see, we create a line exactly on the avatar body and it's fit to that. So we need to create a pattern from this line. So we need another tool here, <clears throat> flatten. Select it, you have to go in most over in the close pattern. It's turned to the light blue select it select it you can select all area that you want uh, and you can create it. okay before that i want to <clears throat> create another line you can make it a symmetry but i want to explain something to you if you select all of the lines it's automatically suing to each other it's very nice i created it here it's not important you can Created and after that, bring back nice. Then go into the flatten, and as you can see, you can select, select, and after that, it tells you press enter and hit enter. And as you can see, it's automatically created for you. But if you go into the showing 2D swing, yeah, it's nice. And as you can see, it creates a flatten uh for you and flatten it nice and if you simulate it fall down as you can see based on that lines it's created 2d pattern for you but as you can see uh it's curved here and we need to a straight line you can two things go into the edit pattern select it right click and delete our curve point to straighten it but you can do another interesting tool before flatten it you can come here and uh, edit tools you can select it right click and flatten as a straight line it does not flatten it here but if you convert the 2d it automatically flatten it for you and done another we are going to the flatten tool select it select it and then hit enter and as you can see it's flatten it for you here and you can go to the edit select it select it right click and merge it to each other or you can edit it here it's directly affected in it to 3d and that's it or you can delete it and as you can see it's not good in this way you can select and delete that you can right click and clone it as a symmetry with swing or symmetry symmetry simple symmetry that you learned it before so imagine this tool is very powerful and you can do a lot of things you can create a shoe with them 
uh, car seats, anything. Cover for your car seats. Imagine how powerful that you can insert your 3D, your custom 3D avatar and base your 3D shape. You can create your pattern with no knowledge about designing pattern. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.